I'm gonna show you how to find solutions graphically. So here's what you need to understand. Let's say you had some sort of function, say f of x, that you have graphed. It is given to you. And you're trying to find solutions for that function. Here's how you do it. If you have a single, single function graphed here, a single, single function graphed here, any point that is on this curve or any point that is on this graph is a solution. So I've kind of highlighted one already. This point right here is on my parabola. It is a point on my parabola. It is a solution. All I got to figure out is what the x and y coordinates for that point is. So remember, x is how we're traveling left and right. Y is how we're traveling up and down. So if I go right to and then up to, there is my solution at 2 comma 2. That is my solution. Okay. If I want to find another solution, if I had to name another one, just find some other additional point that is on your graph. If I look way over here, the very end, that is another point that is on my parabola. I just need to write down what the coordinates for this point is. If I look at it, we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that coordinate is 5, 5. That's a way to find solutions there to that function. In this second example, I'm going to kick up the difficulty a little bit. I'm going to look at finding solutions to a linear inequality. So this is when you're graphing stuff like y is less than, say, 3x minus 7. I'm talking about these types of inequalities. We graph the line, and then we have shading above or below, things like that. To find solutions for this, the solutions are just anything in the shaded space. Any point in the shaded space is a solution. So I can just go over here and be like, well, this point right here, that is in my shaded space, so surely that is a solution. I just need to write down the x and y coordinates here. So I'm over 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 1. So a potential solution here, potential of my many solutions that I want to list out here is 4, negative 1. Right 4, down 1. 4, negative 1 is a solution to whatever inequality this was. Now I want to talk about something here. When you have a dashed line like this, a dashed line, a common question is, what about points right on the line? What about points right on the line? Here's the deal. When you have dashed lines, these are not, they are not solutions to this inequality. If it was a solid filled in line, anything on the line is a solution, okay? So since it's a dashed line, I can't do anything on top of this dashed line. I have to do something in the shaded area. If it was a solid line, absolutely, I could use one of those points. So I'm just going to find some other point in my shaded area, like way over here. This is a point in the shaded area. I just need to write the coordinates for this guy. It's over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1. So the coordinate 5, 1, the x value of 5 and the y value of 1, that is another solution to this inequality. Final graph I want to look at, it's a system of linear inequalities. So this is when we have this graph up here, and we have two of them, and we look for the overlap. Okay, we look for the overlap. So this is two of these graphs overlapped. We need to find two solutions. Two solutions. Again, you're looking for in the shaded area. If you're in the shaded area, that counts as a solution. So this coordinate is negative 2, positive 4. That is a solution. So anywhere in that shaded area will work. And I'm going to give you one more solution here. Notice how I have this solid line here, this solid line. I can pick out points on the solid line, but not on the dashed line. Solid line, yes. Dashed line, no. The coordinates there, the x value is 0, but the y value is 3. Okay. So that was a very brief video on how to find solutions graphically.